I'm... I'm sorry. Such a majestic creature. I didn't want to kill you. But this new world will make murderers of us all. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh. I'm done with him. Oh. Time to move on. Um. Oh, man. Okay, we're way overloaded now. Oh, this is... It said items from Jeremiah's have been returned to you. It was not joking. Um. Oh, is this stuff cured? Oh, 97%. Okay, what about my... I got so many guts. Cured, cured, cured. Oh, these are all cured at least. This is a lot though. Cured leather, cured rabbit. Wolf? Fresh, still fresh. Oh, 76% cured. Cured. So I got a lot of rabbit pelt. But I am getting to the dam at night when Aurora's in the sky. Okay, what is this? Oh, damn. Control room code. Okay. 7611. Oh, but I had the other thing here. This torn paper. Okay. I'm just, like, exhausted just sitting here. Yeah. No, so I need to maybe put some stuff in this convenient bin. Um. I got a lot of meat. <laughs> Do I need food? No, I'm like full up. Well, I'll drop these at least. I guess. Oh, this is ruined. All my stuff got burned out. These rabbit pelts are so tiny. I, I mean, I don't know that I'll be coming back here. I have so much stuff that weighs so much. What is this quality tools for? I guess that's what I don't know. Oh, firewood. Bunch of parts. Oh, stump remover. So that's, I guess, how I'll make new ammunition, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I need clothing. And my hat is ruined. Right? So I can break that down at least. I think, yeah, harvest. So I need some more clothes. I think there were clothes in the... I'm in Mystery Lake, so I can head back to the camp. That may be a better place for me to store my stuff. Well, I'll see actually if I can take all this. 
This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I know, I know, bud. But we'll just make our way slowly. Because we just gotta get... Oh, we gotta check this guy out, too. But we'll just get back to the camp office. Because I don't want to have to come all the way back to this corner again. I don't think we will. Oh, okay. Can't believe we're done with the bear. Yeah, I'm going to move slowly and I'm going to use up my energy. But at least I don't have to walk across any ice anymore. God, he sounds so labored. What is, uh... Oh yeah, so a thing I also forgot is that your clothes add to weight that you're carrying. So if I put on like a heavy jacket that weighs two kilos or whatever, then I'm carrying two kilos of heavy jacket. But there's a workbench at least in the, um, in the camp office. that I can use. Whoa. Sorry about that. Yeah, there's a workbench I can use in the camp office, so I can drop stuff there and kind of clean up. And then, I don't know, like, after Carter... If I'm leaving after Carter Mill... Or Carter Mills. After Carter Dam. I know, I feel... I don't like leaving stuff behind. That's why I'm not leaving it with Jeremiah. But it's like, what's the thing you can craft that goes here? That's like a um, a sled you can make. Oh, why am I going through this horrible, awkward area? No, no, I know the way out. It's this way. Right? It's this way. I don't think I want to go, like, cross, cross country to there. I'd rather go out here and then go up. Okay, we made it up to here. It's a good, good sign. Made it out of the little valley. Whew, okay. That bear stuff. I know for you it may have been a week, but for me it was like five minutes ago. That was wild. Um... I did not expect that to be part of this game. So that was an interesting uh, element to have added in. You know, I feel like I'm doing this for the first time again because I remember struggling to get out of his cabin and then finding this lower route here that was actually way easier and better to walk down. I, like, I remember when we first got to Jeremiah's, we were like mountaineering unnecessarily. But meanwhile, this is a little valley that just leads us where we need to go. Oh, silly me, silly me. Okay, so, you know, I was talking earlier about how some of the aspects I really like about this game is, especially at the difficulty level I set, um, there's a relatively slow pace, 
You can be really methodical. You do obviously have clocks on you, which are food, water, energy right there in that lower corner. <laughs> right now I have a thermal clock where I had to use my windbreaker to warm myself up. Um, where I had to take my windbreaker and turn it into cloth so I could get a snow shelter, which was kind of an ironic way to take off my outer layer so I could make a layer to warm myself up. But for the most part, there are not a lot of like, clocks in this game where, you know, you don't have to like get through the scene really quickly or, or whatever. And then the bear changed all of that. That, like, sneaky stealth mission out of nowhere. Uh, that was kind of fun. I couldn't save in that whole area at all. Um, thankfully he didn't catch me, but... That was definitely something that I would have... I don't know, I would have been more comfortable if I could have saved during there. So, um, it was purely on the autosave. But again, like, thankfully I just took my time. Um, I'm hoping that I <laughs> edited it a little bit so you didn't have to sit with me for 20 minutes while I waited inside of a little tunnel looking for an opening. But, you know, it... That was a heart-pounding bit of gameplay. And I'm not, you know, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that the games I play tend to be like city builders and stuff, where there's no adrenaline involved unless it's like, yay, my train station connected properly. So this is my adrenaline game. And like I said, at the difficulty level I put it on, uh, being like the e easiest <laughs> mode. It's not a lot of stuff, but my goodness, that bear. That was well written. Uh, if you play this in the survival mode or at higher difficulty levels, like the wolves and stuff are, if they sight you, they will start, you know, stalking you. Um, and then there's a thing called Aurora Wolves, where they will, like, if you're out during an Aurora, the wolves will, like, legit chase you down. And they're, like, zombie wolves, basically. Um, so, you know, I haven't had to experience much of that. But the bear stalking, just being, you know, noted by, like, a piano chord. And then suddenly there's a combat encounter. Oh, but I wonder, do I still have the spear? Nope, no spear. I guess I don't need it. Maybe I left it in the bear. I kind of like... <laughs> he was like... You know, sorry I had to kill you, bear. I definitely feel that way. But also... It would have been kind of cool to have, like, a bear skin coat. You know, I always play, like, I, I abhor hunting in real life, um, unless it is purely for food or survival, but people who just, like, hunt for fun, I don't get it. Um, if you live out in an environment like this, where that is the way you procure your food, go for it. You know, you're, you're being legit, but if you're like, hey, let's just go drive out to a field and shoot at deer. Like, that's not my jam. Um, but I always, you know, when I play Dungeons and Dragons, I'm always the ranger. In uh, When I played World of Warcraft for 15 years, whatever, I was a hunter, right? That's always been my preferred type of class. Uh, the ranged damage, usually with a pet. Um, you know, I kind of love that idea. So it's kind of funny that in, you know, real life, I can't stand guns or hunting or any of that. I can appreciate marksmanship. Um, for sure. It's just not something I want to do. I did, you know, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. I know how to use a rifle. Or at least I did 30 years ago. But, uh, it's not something that I'm interested.
This, he sounds like how I sound if I went for just a regular walk on a flat <laughs> trail in the shade. <sighs> okay, we are almost to the cabin where we can unload a lot of this stuff. What is that? Oh, deer. I do want to get back out to the, uh, the forest talker guy. I wonder... It's like... Oof. Okay, rabbit skin hat. Oh, I have plenty. I could make mitts and a hat. Oh, they weigh a lot, though. Wolf skin coat. Yeah, I don't have enough wolf pelts. I don't have anything deer related. Any deer recipes. Patterns, I guess. Like, you would think I could harvest those antlers or something. You know, antler was one of the early tools that man used. Uh, other than, you know, rock, obviously, and wood. And the antler is ridiculously hard. If you ever watch, like, Forged in Fire or something, uh, they will frequently test those blades against antler. Because the density of antler is so much... All right, Lac Mystere. Let's get in here. You know, it's like I've been away on vacation. <laughs> Let's get in here. Take a load off. Okay, so drop my wolf pelt. These are all cured. Fresh. Drop, drop. This is cured. Yeah, cured, cured, cured. These are all cured. Okay. So, cooler. Yeah, okay. This is what I thought. I'm like, I thought we had a bunch of... Throw all that meat in there. These coolers are great. Okay, and we got all this gut, all this hide... Well, that definitely helped. It was my, my inventory drop significantly. Okay, and I'm starting to warm up. Might as well throw... Throw a log in the fire. Start warming up the bones a little. And then, uh... We'll see about maybe doing some crafting. I haven't looked at that part really at all, but... I've got the sewing kits. I got the guts. Um, I think I need reclaimed wood in order to make snares. Well, let's see what we can do. Rabbit skin mitts. Well, I definitely need... Oh, man, it takes like five hours. Okay. Well, let's... I mean, let's just go all five. Can we just go all five? The fire's going to burn out, but we're spending the night here anyway. Now I'll get some food and my temperature's back up to, to good. Okay. Okay, so do I have... Do I have some cute mittens? Yay! They may make you clumsy, but they're very warm, kind of like wearing a rabbit in your hands. <laughs> okay, I need a hat. I don't think I have... <gasps> oh my gosh, I can make a hat. Yes. I'm going to be thirsty and hungry when this is finished, but I'll have a cute hat. And it's dark. <laughs> Typical me. I'm going to chug an entire gallon of water. Oh, that was all my water. Whoa. Okay. 
I don't need a marine flare. Okay, let's <sighs> get fire going in here again. And then uh, we have plenty of food, but we'll make some more water. for fuel. Why do we have different sticks? That's just kind of funny. Okay. I'll do a pot. We have like exactly one hour. We'll throw some, we have some embers. Okay. Stick. There we go. All right. Oh, my lantern went out. <laughs> oh, you guys. Sometimes I'm just not the smartest. Rarely, we'll say rarely, am I the smartest? using a torch indoors because I can't be bothered to okay it is yeah it's night so let's head upstairs we're in much better case situation we got plenty of books and stuff if we need to burn more. And we've got my other cooking pot here. So we will crash for the night. Oh, there's cloth too. Cool. Alright. Um, let's sleep until morning. I'm like gonna die from dehydration. Why didn't you guys tell me to drink before I went to bed? I always have a glass of water before I go to bed. It helps you to wake up in the morning because you have to be. Okay. Let me see, am I... All my stuff is a little raggedy though. I will say. My cute hat! Oh my gosh. That's fun. So I still need a jacket or something here. Um... Empty trunk. These are all empty. Trying to think of where I saw a jacket. Maybe it's in um Where was the jacket? Maybe in one of the in the little dam things. 
Okay. What can I... I don't think I can make a... Jacket, right? It'd be heavy, too. Wolfskin coat. Oh, I can. 50 hours. Wait, do I have these things? Jeremiah, I don't have these tools. Do I? <laughs> do I have all these tools? Okay, that's our quest. Crouching. Oh, I'm glad it finally taught me about crouching. I think I don't know how to make these things clear. Like it keeps showing that I have stuff to to look at. Do I have to examine it? I don't want to examine everything. I know all these things. Survival school lessons. Okay, well, uh, wolfskin coat. That's going to take us some time if we decide to make that. But I think it'll be very heavy when and if we get to that point. We could break it down with a hammer. That's nuts. Okay, so I'm still carrying all these gut on me. I really should just pop it in here if I can. It's not, it doesn't weigh much, but it adds up. Yeah, it adds up. Yeah, a lot of feathers. I'm gonna put the hammer in here. I think I can put the spearhead. I think I'm done with that chapter of my life. Can I break that down actually? Wait a second, let me see. Oh, nope. Well, I'll put it in here in case somehow I can craft a spear. I don't need all these cans. Oh, I hit capacity. Okay. That helped, right? Yeah, I'm at 37. Uh, where's my food? Yeah. Oh, I have more deer hide in here, too. And rabbit pelt. Okay, I want to eat these things before they're gross. I'm just gonna... You know, in uh, the survival mode, you can get scurvy if you're not eating a varied enough diet. And I think that's kind of fun. Oh, gross soda. Iced coffee. That's what we call it. Not cold. Iced. All right. Um, I want to take a coal. Aren't there coals in there? That would be super. Okay, what else can I drop from my inventory? I guess suppose I could drop some scrap metal. As I pick up a piece of scrap metal. Um, the problem is I, n I will never remember where I put it. 
So I kind of have to like just drop it here. Oh. And Ooh, I wonder if I could make um snare cured gut. Okay. Oh, the guts are in here. I want to make some snares. I might have to drop some gear. You're cool, don't worry. Oh, quality tools. Yes. So I'll make some snares. Oh, I always want to use the tools. Why would you switch to just doing with my hands? Can you imagine if you're like, well, I hammered one board together with my hammer, but I think for the next one, I'm just going to rely on my fingers. No, always use the tool, silly. Okay, so now I've got... I got a bunch of snares. There's a whetstone back there. What have we here? Nice. I'll leave it there. And then let's see if I can pop a couple of snares. No, I can leave these guts behind. Oh wait, this is yeah. I have so many guts on me. Oh, I moved all to inventory. That's what happened here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely I will come back for the stump remover, for sure. Yeah. Perfect rifle ammunition, that, that's nice. I'll move a couple of sewing kits. I'll move this whetstone. I gotta get down to that weight. I'm not gonna put any food in there. I don't have much room left. One day these matches will be the death of me. Okay. Oh, and the hammer. I was gonna drop the hammer. There we go. <gasps> Look at that for once. I'm back to the correct weight. Oh, I probably could put the tool. I probably put this in there too. That'll be that'll be good. The hacksaw I can use to break down and get scrap metal if I need to. Yeah. Okay. I'm in a good spot. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Did nothing. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, listening, learning. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Uh, I've had a blast playing through these episodes, and hopefully I'm going to finish off... Part four, chapter four of this episode, and then we will move on to uh, episode three, which I think is with Astrid. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care.